Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do my second test on this grill top stove. The last one I did was with the comparing to the, the way I did this the first time with this on flat on the table. Oh, while well I had this here. This is quite a bit heavier, what about 3.3 times as heavy as this. But then this is my second one of these stoves I've had to buy because I burned the other one out. I don't think that will happen with this one. I was mildly surprised that to what the time was on the first test with the stove stand directly on the table it brought two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a full boil in 8 minutes and 46 seconds. What I want to do this time is I'm elevating the stand up off the table using two uh, thin rods. They have a diameter of about 1 point, uh, 0.14 inches in diameter. So it's lifting the whole stand up off the table by 0.14 inches. The idea here is that maybe it'll get more air in. On a previous test, all the flames for the Trangia came out of these uh, end holes and up the side of the pot. I didn't see any flames coming out of here right in the middle. I think that'll affect <coughs> the uh, heating sequence if I can get some to come up through the middle. Now I'm using aluminum foil again on this test not using the heavy cover that I have. There's no way I can drill a hole through this stuff to stick a thermometer in there but I'm pretty darn sure that this will if nothing else, make the heating time a little better. It shouldn't take away from it. Let's start this. <clears throat> Get it to a bloom. This time I'm also going to take some heat measurements on the side of the stove, the side of the stand, and see what that's doing. I always thought that maybe with these holes, rather than having a whole open area just coming up through the holes, that this stove, this stand would act like a heat sink and suck some of the heat away. Let's see what that's doing. I fill this up again with three ounces of alcohol, denatured alcohol. The last burn test to get the eight minutes and 46 seconds used about two grams more than a fluid ounce of alcohol. Okay, I think that's going. Put the stand on, on top of the wires. Now you can see, can you see here? There are flames coming up through now without the pot, without the canteen on here. Have to see what happens. The first time I used this stove too, also, first time you use it, do it outside. There was a little bit of oil still on the stand and it rather smoked up the area. See good flames coming up through the middle there now. See what happens. I'm going to have to do something so it doesn't roll around. Two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. Room temperature is 58, humidity 47. It's sunny out and a little breezy. So let's see what this one does. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 839, 8 minutes 39 seconds. Okay, let's take a temperature on the. Okay, can you see see the red dot? That's where this thermometer is taking a reading. It's saying about 219. It's bouncing up and down because I'm moving it. The bottom of the stand is reading at about 156, 57. So the stand is getting hot. A little surprise there. Let me stop this because I want to weigh the alcohol. OK, 
Okay, on this test, where I elevated the stand with two thin rods, it got two cups of water starting at 61 degrees to a full boil in 8 minutes and 39 seconds. Not much of a cutback, but it is still better than with the old stove, with the aluminum, the bad time of the aluminum stove. I really thought maybe this would help, but again, I didn't see any flames coming out of here. They all came out of the ones along the edge and then up the side of the pot. Now I did have this out of, out of habit. This was at the 180 degree side. I don't think it would matter if I turned the stove around so that the kidney bean followed the kidney bean. Maybe I should try this again using the uh, my standard Boy Scout pot that would be wider on the stand just don't know I really thought heat would come up through that still it's you know not a bad time it's not the worst time I've ever seen so That was the second test. Two cups of water starting at 61 came to a boil in 8 minutes and 39 seconds. Previously where I didn't use the standoffs, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, one degree colder, got to a full boil in 8 minutes and 46 seconds using just a shade more than uh, two fluid ounces of alcohol. I look forward, to, anyway, as always, I look forward to your input on this, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, what you think of this stuff. If you have any other ideas that you'd like me to try, I still have several coming up. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.